Good morning. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne, First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. I hope you're well, and I hope your day started well, and certainly I hope your year, 2022, has started well. And we're looking at uh, Psalms chapter 1. Something for all of us to consider as we look forward to a brand new year. It says in Psalms chapter 1, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf shall not, pro uh, shall not uh, wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. What's he saying here? He's saying here that the, the blessed man, the godly man, does not seek counsel outside of the word of God. Doesn't mean you, you don't look to godly men, but you want men who will provide counsel from God's word, who has seen God's, God work in people's lives, see how he works in situations, who will tell you the truth, regardless if it hurts your feelings or not. So many believers today are going to outside counsel. They're going to they're going to these seminars. They're reading these self help books. They're 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 engaged in and maybe the 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 spectacular. The they're amazed at what's happening with you know this the successful and the and the prosperous and the this and the that. And you know what he's saying here that the blessed man will be tethered. To the Word of God. As a matter of fact, he's so tethered to the Word of God that he spends time, he meditates in God's Word day and night. What's he saying here? He's saying that we are to the, the blessed man, the godly man, the one who has uh, who has the ear of God, is the one who seeks God throughout his day, who does not look for others' advice, but he looks to God looks to God. So what does that mean for you and I? As we start this year in 2022, I think it's it's a wise move. It's a wise move for every man, woman, and child listening to me today to make a commitment that I'm going to start my day in the Word of God. I'm going to get up 30 minutes early. I'm going to spend time in God's word, and I'm going to spend a time on my knees, and you know what, I'm going to try to remember throughout the day uh, what I've read. I'm trying to absorb uh, God's wisdom that comes from his word. That's what we should do on a daily basis, but we should also make church a priority in our week. It's 52 weeks ahead of you this year. How many of those 52 weeks are you going to be in church? How many? I don't even say Sunday night. I'm saying Wednesday night. I'm saying the house of God on Sunday. Where? How many of those 52 weeks are you going to uh, to be away? Well, you say, well, I'm going to be gone two weeks for vacation. I get that. That's fine. You may have one or two weeks that, uh, throughout the year that you're sick, a child's sick, or an emergency comes up. That's fine. So you're making a commitment that I'm going to be in church at least 48 weeks uh, this year. Uh, by God's grace, according to his perfect will. You know what? Because you're going to be tempted throughout this year to, when you wake up on a Sunday morning that you don't feel well, you, it's a good day to sleep in, you see the snow flying, you see the, uh, the storm in the outside, or it's a beautiful day, and it's a great day for us to go to the beach, it's a great day to get on the boat, it's a great day to whatever. And the temptation is, is we're going to skip church, and we're going to do, we're going to do something else. No. No, I've made a commitment, and I'm going to keep my commitment. I'm going to be in the house of God, uh, if, 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 if at all possible. And so I want, I'm encouraging you to make a commitment. Uh, I'm not asking you to make a vow. I'm saying maybe write it in the front of your Bible and say, in 2022, I'm going to be. I'm going to spend start my day in uh, in God's Word. I'm going to pray, and I'm going to. Spend uh, at least one uh, one Sunday, one hour, two hours 
uh, every Sunday in the house of God. And I guarantee you, this is my guarantee. I guarantee you, if you do that, in one year from now, you're number, number one, you're going to be happy. You're not going to regret the fact that you chose to do that. Number two, you built a godly habit in your life. And I guarantee you this, that your walk with Christ will be uh, stronger. Isn't that what we want out of 2022? We can't control, we really can't control what's happening in the White House. We can't control what's happening uh, in our finances. We can't control what Russia or North Korea or what's happening in the Middle East. You know what? I can't even control what my kids are going to do. All I can control is my commitment to God. And you know what? It starts with making that commitment now. I want to grow in Christ in 2022. How about you? And so, like I did last year and a year before that, a year before that, and for as long as I can remember, I'm going to start my day in God's Word, and I make church a priority in my week. I'm going to give my tithe, and I'm going to get involved in, in ministry, and let me encourage you to do the same. Remember, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying, God loves you, and I love you as well, and I'll talk to you soon.